All right, so today let's tackle, let's take this out, um, give it a mow, we'll talk about pre-emergence, and we'll give it a liquid fertilizer today. So wait. Now let's talk about the granular fertilizer that I've been applying, the uh, Sierra Form GT um, by ICL. I'm happy with it, I'm very happy with it. Um, eight days ago, I put out the second, I put it out for the second time. Um, it had been approximately five weeks since I had originally put it down. Um, the response that I got from that immediately was, was fantastic. Uh, in that five week period, we've had an incredible amount of uh, rain in Brisbane. And uh, my feelings were that the rain has sort of washed it down or washed it away a little bit. Uh, and I thought, look, it's probably time to do another application. So that's what I did eight days ago. Um, Another reason why I felt that it needed or was ready for a new application was the fact that it was lacking a little bit. It didn't have that vibrancy. The it had sort of slowed down in growth. Um, now, in saying that, it's an 18% nitrogen on on in this product, which is significantly high for a uh, for a zoysia lawn. So zoysia is like you know your very low nitrogen levels. Um, so. I guess it was trial for me. It was a trial for me. Um, I wanted to see how the zoysia would respond, having a high, but not very high. Obviously, you can go double that. Um, so it was in that sort of like mid mid range um, end levels. In my opinion, I think it's working really well. Um, so let's have a bit of a look at it now. This is uncut. So yeah, look, I'm really happy with it. That's why I'm talking about it. I want to spruce this product. It's working for me. Um, and every product that I've used so far is been because I've had a feeling through research that it might might be a suitable product. Prior to using this granular fert, I was using Zoistar, uh, which had that lower nitrogen. Um, it had very, like it was a very kind of thick or heavy uh, granule. Um, so I've since steered away from that solely because of the size of the granules and I was looking for that, um, that finer, smaller granule for the, for the tighter lawn, um, which is why I landed on the um, Sierra Form GT. So yeah, look, it's fantastic. Um, the K in this product is going to really help, help me um, coming into autumn and winter as well. So on that note, the journey for this lawn now begins because this time last year, is when the lawn was in its at the time the best condition that it had ever been and i went ahead and threw down a heavy top dress because we were having 38 to 40 degree days at this time last year and i thought hey yeah sweet let's go still growing season but i did forget that the sun started to drop and the weeks after that the lawn got a lot less light and I smothered it and I had a nightmare of a winter and I struggled with it. This year I've learnt from my mistake and we're not going to be doing that again. Um, we're going to baby this and we're going, to get, we're going to go through the journey together and see how I can get through a winter with 30% light, which is lower than the recommended light for this particular lawn. So that's that. Second thing I want to talk about is what I've been doing here around the tree. So as you can see, I mean, the grass is quite long, um, but you can't see it at the moment because I've let the border around this tree um, sort of grow off, grow out a bit. Now there is actually a bit of like aluminium um, edging that I've got in there, as you can probably see through here. Um, it's very neat, um, but I don't know, I don't, really, I don't really like it. So what I've done is I've just let that sort of come around just to give it a bit of character and then in the middle here I'm just letting it sort of grow wild through here but what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to pull out that aluminium edging and I'm just going to let the grow I'm going to pull out take out the rocks as well and I'm just going to let that space sort of just fill in over time ideally I should have done this a few months ago but I think being the start of March I've still got a bit of time up my sleeve just to let that fill in um, I'll top dress it as well with <laughs> not the whole lawn, just this tiny little area lightly here. I'll top dress it with a set, bit of sand just to help it through. All 
Okay, well, that wasn't the hugest job I've ever done, but still took some time. Now, hopefully over time that fills in. I've obviously, it's quite deep. Look how deep that is. It's about 100 mil. So I'm gonna try and bury these runners and hopefully they don't die and they will continue to grow. And then we'll just leave that wild and bushy. Now for anyone wondering, I got this from New Way, which is uh, a landscape supplier up here in Brisbane. There's a few, fair few of them around on the north and south side and bay side. This is, what is it? I think it's, it's got to be stainless steel um, edging. Um, it's really good actually. Um, you get these little um, corner brackets. Um, you can get these other brackets that extend on. They go, I think they're about like 2.9 or 2.8 metres in length. Uh, they're not the cheapest uh, in the world, but they... They look nice, they're a neat finish. You get these little stakes and you nail them in and they go into these holes here. Essentially what I'm thinking of doing is this boundary or this edge here between the two lawns needs some sort of edging. Um, I run the edger through it just to cut any roots that are trying to creep through. Um, but yeah, we'll, we're gonna eventually need to sort that out. So I was thinking about possibly using some of this stuff again over there anyway let me know what you think that's one option otherwise I can use um, timber palings they're the cheapest chips they're like two bucks each for like 1.8 meter lengths so I can run that down there um, but yeah this one might be a bit neater so I'm recording this on the 2nd of March and what's that two days into autumn um, I'm already seeing some weeds pop up. So I've kind of already missed the window for a very important product, which is called a pre-emergent. Now there's plenty of pre-emergents on the market. Um, I was going to use Barricade, but the size of those bottles are a minimum of one liter, which is it's too much for the size of lawn that I'm using, especially when the product lasts for six months. Another product I considered was Spartan, again, it's a smaller size, I think 750 mil, but again, I'm not gonna get the most out of that product. It'll probably go off by the time I end up using a quarter of it. Um, a friend of mine um, a year ago sent me this product. Zoom over here. Now this is Oxifer. Now this is a two-in-one sort of formula. It is a granular fertilizer as well as a pre-emergent. Yeah, it's got the active um, ingredient of our oxidizon, I think you might say. So, look, this is a good product. I could put it out, but eight days ago, I put out my Sierra Form GT. The Sierra Form GT lasts for six to eight weeks. So we're talking another two months. We're going to be at the end of autumn. Um, the, the, sorry, the common weeds that are going to come out will have already hit. So I think it'll be too late to put down a pre-emergent pre-emergent at that time because what a pre-emergent does is it's it attacks the weed at the um, at the seed base so it stops it from germinating um, altogether so very good product if you want to um, tackle and get on top of uh, nut grass and I believe winter grass as well is another good one now two days into autumn I'm seeing some weeds so let's go and have a look at what they are and uh, we'll talk about what I'm going to do. As you might see, we've got these ones popping up through here and here. And there's a couple more of them that I've seen throughout the room. Another one that I normally get, and that's around sorry, this area here, is um, carpet grass. Now, I did actually recently pull some of that out. It was around this area here. It's no longer there, which is great, but I'm sure it'll come back at some point. And yeah, winter grass. Winter grass is another big one for me. Um, look, it's my fault. I missed the window to use the granular oxifert. I might use it next season. Um, I don't tend to get weeds throughout the summer. I always get them in autumn and winter. Um, but look, what I'm going to have to do is either one keep lowing mowish, uh, keep mowing lowish throughout winter which is one option if you just continue to mow you mow them off you don't really see them or two I can hand pick them out um, 
apparently it's not a great idea to do that with nutgrass because if you don't pick it out like apparently it spreads and you get more and more and more so I think my probably choice or my solution this season is going to just be mowing regularly I am going to bring the height of cut up throughout winter just so there's more leaf to capture any light that it can get so I'm probably looking at about maybe a 20 mil season um, which look it should be fine we shouldn't really see the the weeds but yeah just another common mistake that I tend to make is missing the windows of things even though I've got a lawn plan sort of um, yeah I don't know I put a lot of work into this but at the same time <laughs> I seem to not put a lot of work into it either. Um, hence not using this beautiful product here. Anyway, I just wanted to share that, talk about that. Um, I'm aware of it. Um, I've got product as, I've, sorry, I've got the solution right behind me. Um, but we'll do it next time. So anyway, let's give it a mo, and then it'll be a perfect time to apply the liquid fertilizer because the sun is setting. Okay, let's do that right now. So here we are, we're on the last step for today, applying the liquid fertilizers. So I've shown you this before, this is my range, so I'm going to apply this now. Um, I put it in five litres of water, I've half filled the uh, pressure sprayer up with water and then I add all this in and then fill the remaining two, two and a half litres up. So fantastic products, love it. The lawn's looking really green at the moment thanks to the granular fertilizer. Um, yeah, it's like I can't, I can't be any happier. Um, last time I applied this liquid iron, I put it at the higher rate, which was 400 mils per 100 square meters. So I did 80 mils, but because this is 20 square meters. Lawn didn't like it. It went that little yellowy browny tinge that it can do when you over apply iron. So it's the first time I've done it at a high rate, and it's the last time I'm going to do it. So I'm going to bring it back to the what's 150 mil, 150 mil per 100 square meters. So I'm looking at that sort of 30 to 40, yeah, is that right? Yeah, 30 to 40 mil range um, for me. So let's get into that now. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Everything's done and dusted for the day. Um, happy with the lawn. Very, 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 very happy with the lawn. Can't recommend that Sierra Form GT enough. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.